everyone, Megan here from Modern Genealogy. Today I'm going to show you how to print family trees and pedigrees on Family Search. So let's get started. All right, so when you're in Family Search, just choose the person that you want to make a pedigree chart for. I'm going to click on my grandpa. So when you go to their profile page, you can see what print features are available there. Um, if you scroll down on the right, you can print a pedigree. Now this will be my grandpa as the root person. If you wanted yourself as the root person, you would just need to go to your page and print a pedigree that way. And so this has a standard pedigree chart that can be helpful. Maybe you need a pedigree chart for some reason or you just like having a printed version. Now you can also do a portrait pedigree. Now this has pictures of uh, your ancestors. So you can see if there's pictures that are in Family Search, it will put them as a profile there. So that's kind of fun to look at also. And maybe you want to print that off. Another one you can print off is a fan chart. Now I love this one just because it gives such an easy view of all of your ancestors at the same time. Again, you can put yourself as the root person there and you can see all of your ancestors that fan out. And you can maybe see where there might be some, some parts that need some research done. Another one you can do is you can print a family group record. Now this has the husband, the wife, and then all of their children. And then you can again print that with sources. So it will put those sources in there at the end of it. So those are some fun charts to print, but maybe you wanna print one that looks nice enough to hang up in your house. So if you go to familysearch.org slash campaign slash keepsakes. So quite often Family Search will run these different campaigns to promote um, different features or different fun things. So this was one that they ran. I actually can't find where to get to it from their um, website, but if you put this, this into your address bar, you will be able to find it. So you can just get started and find a family tree that you can print off for free. So this is one that just has some leaves. Um, it has, I'm not sure if it actually goes in order or if it's just kind of random names of people in your family tree. It doesn't look like it's necessarily branching out. It just has some names from people. You can check these boxes if they want to include spouses or all of that. Another one is this one where it has your name and your parents and their parents. So it's just a few generations, but you can put your spouse in there. Then it has you and your spouse and you can include your spouse's tree. And then that has you, your spouse, and then their line and your line. So that's kind of a fun one to print also. And let's see what's the other ones that they have. They have this one where it just has some names that are in your family tree. It's not necessarily um, in order or anything. It just has some names there. And the last one is this family tree. So it has, if you want your spouse in there, has your parents and their parents listed in there. So I think the best one for like a standard maybe artistic looking family tree is this one as far as it actually shows the relationships. Um, and maybe they'll add some more here in the future, but those are fine, kind of fun to, to take a look at and print out. Um, if you do want like a very beautiful family tree that you want to have displayed in your home, it's not free but that's because they are beautiful and take a lot of time to put together. But my friend Carolyn makes them at Branches Art. Um, and you can take a look at her website and order some beautiful, beautiful family trees there. So I hope that was helpful for you to have some ideas about how you can display your family trees or use those family, family group sheets and pedigrees in your research. And be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and keep watching for more videos.